to everyone and uh, welcome to this prayer time. It's so amazing for us to be together and to pray together. Um, like I said uh, a little while back, prayer is just such an amazing weapon that we have, especially at this time. Um, Isaiah 56 verse 7, I just start off with this scripture. Uh, it, it speaks about how God says that he will bring them to his holy mountain of Jerusalem and fill them, talking about the nations, with joy in his house of prayer. I will accept their burnt offerings and sacrifices, God says, because my temple will be called the house of prayer for all nations. And we know that scripture well because it's a scripture that Jesus quoted. But isn't it amazing that in the New Testament, us being that temple, um, that we're a people who pray for the nations, but also have the nations praying with us. And so tonight, it's incredibly exciting um, that I have uh, Moses with me, and we are wrestling to get Mateo online. Hopefully, we can get him on just now. Um, but Mateo uh, leads a church in Mafeteng. He's married to Mahanya. We'll put up a picture in the meantime. And um, he's a father of three, and they've been just working in the Mafeteng area. If you don't know where that is, we'll put up a, a little map just so you can see. But Mateo and uh, Mahania is an um, amazing gift to the church in Lesotho. They also serve on the NCMI Translocal team. I think there's a picture of their building on the inside as well. But that church is a base church in Mafeting, and they work with uh, quite a number of the churches from around the area. And so Mateo can't wave right now, but if we get him on this Zoom meeting, he will wave. But then also you see the very handsome Moses Machwa, who's married to... Uh, Matabo, hey. give us a wave there, Moses. Uh, yeah. And he's coming to us from uh, Masiru. Masiru is the capital of Lesotho. If you look at the little map that we'll throw up, um, that's where uh, Moses and them are based. Um, their church is called the Fountain of Life Church, and they've been leading there for quite some time. And again, Moses is just a, a, an amazing personal friend and partner. We've had many training times at that church it's a massive base church for uh, that whole region um, and that area. And so that's amazing to have him with us. And then, of course, we got Craig from the country of Mkloti. Um, it's, yeah, welcome, Craig. -o. He's also been to Lesotho. And so it's amazing just for us to be together. We, we were hoping to have um, Bernard from Zambia with us as well. Um, we've traveled to Zambia. We we'll, we'll throw up that map just so you know where we are. But... Sadly, he just sent me a message a bit earlier on that he had been struggling with malaria. Never mind COVID. He's down with malaria. He got bitten by a mosquito. And so um, we could possibly just pray for them. You can see them in the picture there. It's the guy with the blue jacket and the lady with the red dress there as we spent some time with those leaders. Also a massive base church in Zambia, in Lusaka, in the capital and working those regions. So... What an amazing privilege for us to be together and pray for all these regions. And so that's what we're going to do right now. We're going to jump right in. Um, Mosey, maybe you can start us off by just giving us a little bit of feedback on how things are going in the Sutu, and then maybe just give us a couple of points that we can pray for the churches in the Sutu, and then Craig, you can pray for us. Okay. Uh, thank you so much, Ndadidani. Uh, hey, in Lesotho, that the things are so bad, especially this, this diseases. You know, people are people are dying man, in numbers, in numbers. Mm. You know, in numbers. And uh, on 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 Monday, we were uh, one of uh, church members. Uh, wow. But hey, yeah, it's sad, it's sad, but. Uh, then uh, it's this thing again of lockdown. Today, uh, the, the government, uh, you know, we're supposed to end the lockdown today, but they have been uh, extended for another week, seven days again. So, so we're still not going to church even this coming Sunday. So <clears throat> I, I think uh, the things that uh, I think we should pray for and thanks for letting us to pray to get to come and pray with you guys. Uh, you know, I, I thought we should uh, pray for, you know, like uh, I'm saying, it's a lockdown. So I'm thinking of those guys that are in remote areas, 
people like in Tawazeka and other areas. You know, here in Maseru, at least we've got uh, these uh, this phones that uh, we can use to, to communicate with our people. But up there, they don't have the phones that they can communicate with the church members. So, which means uh, for those that are not able to come to church, uh, they, are, they cannot even uh, read the Bible. You know, that is the, the problem. Because they need the pastor to be there to preach for them, to preach to them, because they don't have Bibles. That is the, the, the number thing. The one thing I, I think we should pray for, especially those people that are in the mountains. They, uh, because, uh, the other thing is the commitment for, uh, you know, before before uh, uh, I send you the this uh, points, I I spoke to other guys that we are working together uh, in NCMI. So I did ask them. Uh, what is their view? So some of wow. them uh, send me some points like that one of maybe we should pray for the commitment for the men, for the men for the service of the kingdom so that men should stand up. They should know uh, their position. They should lo- lo- they should work for, for God, you know. And the other one is uh, okay. <laughs> okay. It's to conquer the spirit of fear and confusion, hey? Oh, yes. Now, you know, yes, yes, yes. You know, I wrote them, but now I can't see where I wrote those. Because <laughs> I thought you said you were going to put them on the screen. So, <laughs> so the other thing is, uh, we, we, we said we should... People, you know, like we are saying, uh, it's this thing of uh, coronavirus. So people are very confused. Some are saying Jesus is coming again. Some, so they saying this is the end times. So there's a lot of confusion. So I think we should uh, pray for our people uh, so that they can have hope uh, in the Lord and stand yeah. firm. Yeah, and then the other one is. Uh, the government. We should pray for the government. We want our government to realize the, the importance of the church in our country, so that every everything they, they want to do, they should maybe uh, reconsider, uh, maybe uh, should ask for the advice from the church, you know, before they do the decisions. So I think that's the things that uh, were in our mind that we should pray for this guy today. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. So let's pray together. Cranky, you lead us. Let's go. Let's pray for these things. Go. Uh, well, so Moses, in, in many ways, COVID has, has, has brought us, well, separated us from others. But this is a good example of actually we can come closer together. And it's, it's such a privilege to be able to, to pray with you this, this evening and for, for City Life to come and stand alongside the churches in the Sutta. So we are such a privilege to pray with you. So let's pray together. Yeah, Heavenly Father, we just okay. thank you for the time. Mm. We thank you just for the, yeah, you know, just for the reminder how this pandemic has affected uh, so many people uh, all over this globe. And 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 Lord, we we know that Lesotho is hasn't escaped. And and in fact, what this co- what we also learning is that the 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 poorer areas have the highest impact. And so, Lord, mm. we just this evening want to come before you, and we just want to. Firstly, remember those those people, uh, those church church members who, uh, those believers who who live in these remote yeah. villages who, who rely yes, on, on gospel being preached by by, by men and, and women of God who, who come to their villages. Lord, we remember mm. them at this time where they, where that's been taken away. And, yes. and Father, we do we pray firstly just for just. For your word to to come to them, Lord, we know that uh, we know there's logos, but we know also there's rhema word, and, mm. and, and Lord, I pray that that they would hear you speaking to them through through yes. what they've learned in the past, but also through the Holy Spirit, and, and we know in Scripture too, where where you call us to encourage one another with psalms and and hymns and and, and Scripture, Lord, I pray that 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 really the rhema word would 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 uh, would be so active in those communities. 
Mm. Uh, Father, we just pray for, for a greater in intimacy, Lord, that people would press into you for themselves and not just rely on, on someone bringing a, a, a sermon or a scripture. Yeah, Lord, mm. but we also pray practically, Lord God. Lord, Lord, I pray that there would be, Lord, that you would open up doors, that you would stir people's hearts. We know we know the importance of getting the word in, into areas, and sometimes it, it, uh, it takes a crisis for us to to realize the need. And so, Lord, we do pray that you would stir people's hearts, that those, those, uh, those areas where there were no Bibles, Lord, that Bibles would be donated. Lord, that those who can read would step up, that people would start to look. People would start to say, well, how can we feed ourselves and not rely on, on people coming through? Yes, Lord. And along that yes, way, Lord. Lord, also, as Moses has spoken about men, um, Lord, we want to we want to pray for 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 men to 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 stand up. I just think of of Gideon, who, uh, when when Israel was being invaded, he withdrew uh, into the wine press. And how you met him there and called a mighty man of valor. And Lord, we know that with this pandemic, it's it's so easy just to withdraw and to just wait for things to pass. But Lord, I pray that you would use this time as strange as it is, to raise up new leaders to, mm. to for your calling, not for the calling yes, of Lord. man, but for mm. your calling to, to fall upon people, that there would be just a, a new sense of, oh, for such a time as this, my God has called me. Father, we pray that the, uh, there would just be just an increased commitment, uh, a realization of the mandate and, and the promise uh, that, that, that you have on these people. Yeah, Father, we just also want to pray for for your hope. Um, we, we, Lord, we know with, with all that's happening, all the confusion, all the fear, Lord, we thank you that your church at this time can display a, a hope that, that goes beyond the grave, that, mm. that we have inher an inheritance in you. And Lord God, that gives us courage, that gives us strength, that gives us the ability to, to keep standing in the face of, of a struggle. And Lord, we pray for the, the, the church in Nasutu that, that your hope would cause them to just rise up in strength and in courage at this time. And Lord, as the church rises up, Lord, I pray for the government that they would, they would recognize um, that which you're doing in the church. Lord, we know the church has such a key role to play. Lord, you call us to disciple the nations. And Lord, you call the church in Nasutu to disciple the nation of Lesotho and, and Lord they can be a partner with government and so Lord we do pray that government would recognize the role that the church can play would open doors for the church to to play a practical role whether it be education communication uh, medical treatment even food aid Lord God I pray that there would be avenues uh, and opportunities for the church but also Lord we pray that the church would be an avenue for you to move supernaturally Father, we just pray for a greater faith, an increased faith for the for the church in the suit at this time, just to, just to be able to speak into the heavenlies, to speak to authorities, uh, even to pray for healing at this time. Yeah, so. In Jesus' name, we, we pray. Amen. 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 So we Amen. Are still, we're hoping that Matteo will join us soon. But uh, I've asked him just for a couple of points that uh, he could share with us that we could maybe pray, not just for um, the churches, but also just for the country of Lesotho. And so I know Mateo's lived in South Africa and in Lesotho, and sometimes they're close neighbors, so we think the situation is quite similar, but it, it can be very different. And so these are some of the things that he, he asked us to pray for. Um, Courage for church leaders in the Sutu in the season of pandemic. I just know leading a church at the moment will require incredible courage. And so we want to pray for the leaders, like Moses said, to stand up, to lead strongly, to be an example to the people in the midst of some of these disasters, to just keep on pushing forward and pressing on. Secondly, he asked that we pray for wisdom for elders to know how to lead the church without being able to gather because of lockdown. And so, um, like we know at City Life, there's been such moments for the wisdom of the Holy Spirit to show us avenues and ways that we can still take this gospel and do what God's called us to do. But we want to pray especially for the leaders of churches and the elders of churches 
to, to receive a download from God on just how to lead in this different season. Thirdly, um, just to take care and make way for those who have lost their jobs and businesses because of lockdown. As Moses said, I think in many countries, this is a, ma- a challenge, but in the suit, it's a massive challenge. It's not a massive economy was struggling um, before kind of COVID in certain areas um, and obviously is a lot worse right now. And then this, I love this, but Matteo asked if we could pray for the church to remain true to Jesus and to his word. So it's an excellent point. So let's pray together. If you're at home on Facebook, um, just where you are, can we maybe just mix our faith together? You know, it's an amazing thing when we call on the name of Jesus, we agree on these things. That's why we try to put these points up so we can all be praying in the same direction. But let's spend a bit of time praying over those four points. Father, I thank you right now for it. We ask for God that every deacon, every elder, leader who will just find right now courage, Father, to lead and to do what you've called to do in this season, Lord. We pray for the incredible wisdom, Lord, to come upon them, Lord, at time, Lord, for you just to show them what you want from them to do and how to reach people how to shepherd yeah, the flock, yeah, how to lead these churches yeah, in yeah, such a yeah, time. Lord, we pray open doors of resources yeah, um, yeah, and people that have the skills that can help with technology. And, yeah, and Lord, we pray, Father God, that you just make a way that the word of God can still come out. And Lord, we do want to, as Craig said, we have authority as the church of Jesus. We want to ask you, Father God, to in especially for those that are filled with the Holy Spirit, marked with the blood of Jesus. Lord, would you just... Father God, provide for those who have jobs. Would you provide for those whose businesses are right now and those families that are struggling to eat and put food on the table? Father, we pray, Father God, would you provide uh, everything they need to be able to do what you call them? And then, Lord, we pray for your church, your brother. We ask, Father God, that you would just focus on you, Lord Jesus, get strength for you, Lord Jesus. And, uh, Lord God, he would be in love with you, dwell in your word, that your word would put a good foundation, strong foundations, Lord, so that the church would even grow and mature. Um, over time and remain true to you, Jesus. Hold on to you during this time, Lord God, as you, you're you strengthening her and as you And we pray especially for those churches, Father, and that we think. Father, we think of Mother King, Father, we think of the rural churches, we think of up in the mountains, Father, we think of um, a serious city church, Father, we think um, Lord, of all those churches, Lord, and, and we ask in Jesus' name for your grace and wisdom upon them right now, for courage in Jesus' name. Amen. Awesome. Amen. So I think I've just hit the admit button for Mateo, so hopefully we can get him on soon. And um, that's really awesome. So the thing about Moses and uh, Mateo um, that you guys should just know is not only that they are leading churches and doing translocal work. Hey, Mateo, how are you? Hey, there he is. <laughs> All right. Um, not only is uh, Matteo and Moses leading churches, part of the translocal team, it's an amazing thing. You you hear of some of the struggles in um, the Lesotho context, and these guys are still trying to help and make a difference. I know they've traveled a bit and they've tried to help other guys, and um, we we really feel like it's, it's not only that we are um, ministering in Lesotho, but we're ministering next to these guys. And they've been incredible influence in our own lives and our churches. They've been an example. And so most certainly uh, what we want to do now is ask them also to pray for us. Because remember in the beginning we said his temple is a, is a house of prayer for all nations. It's a place where we pray for the nations, but it's a place where the nations pray. And all those um, who are part of the kingdom of God are a part of that. And so what I'm going to do is maybe, Craig, you've thought of just a couple of things that we can ask these guys to, to pray for. And then um, we're going to ask Mosey to pray. Yes, that's cool. Uh, uh, Mateo, as soon as you can hear us, just give us a shout, my bud. We see you wrestling there. 
Yeah, it's, look, it's such a privilege to partner with you guys and, and to have you to, to pray for the challenges that we've got is just fantastic. So uh, just in, in thinking about what, what to pray for, uh, I just had two points. And the first one, I just wanted to, I, th- I was wondering whether the scripture would, would come up, um, but Matthew chapter 5, verse 13, where Jesus talks about the, us being the salt of the earth, and uh, uh, the, the light of the world and, and, and that the city on a hill shouldn't be hidden. But, and if there's ever a time for the, for the church to shine uh, and reflect Jesus, it's now. But if it's ever a time that it's difficult to do it, it's also now. Um, but the, the mandate is there. And, and so to some extent, there's two point two aspects to this. To some, one aspect is people saying it's, it's so difficult. Our ministry field is so diminished. Um, I no longer get to see people at work, or people don't. There's no no church meetings, and but that's that's no excuse to 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 stop shining because at any stage God can open a door. So so that's the one aspect, just to for people to keep standing firm. And to keep reflecting Jesus in, in everything that they do at, during this crisis. Um, and then the second aspect is, is, is really just as old lampstands have been taken away or old hills are gone, for, for God to open new doors, new, new avenues for us to, um, to, to reflect him and to reach others. And I think it's great what Donnie's doing now, this way of just connecting with you guys. So that was just the first point, just to, just really just the, the, um, the renewed importance for the church to, to, to continue to reflect Jesus. Um, the second aspect that I just felt was unity. Um, and the scripture there was Romans 5 verse 6, where, where um, Paul's praying for the spirit of unity to be among the followers. And often when we talk about unity or, or, or rather disunity, we know, well, we know how important, how great it is when there's unity in believers. And, uh, but, um, and often when, when, when people are praying about unity, it's because there's disunity. But that's not really the context. For me, it's, it's more of a military context. And you're a, an army man, Moses, um, <laughs> is, is that when an army marches, they've got to march together. If everyone is going off in their own direction, they're not going to be a very effective uh, as a unit. And, and I think that's, well, that's one of the great things, or one of the, 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 the impacts we see in COVID having is that people are going in different directions and, and, and you've got other military terms, missing in action or going AWOL, absent without leave. Um, and, and I think there's, there's, there's a reality that with us, when we're meeting together frequently, it's easy to be on the same page. Um, but but with us not meeting together, and 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 um, it's not just for individuals, but it's also for churches. We, we I was going f- for a walk in Amschlonga, which is just down the road from City Life, and we walked past the church, and there was a sign up outside the church, and, and it said closed due to COVID until further notice. And I just thought, mm. what a sad message to be giving to the world that the gospel is closed until further notice because of COVID. And so, mm. this is, this is re- so, so it's not, not, not to not, I mean, God's been incredibly kind to us in the church, and we're not sitting and saying we're doing it right, but just really to, in the context of, uh, of reaching out to those who are struggling, whether they be individuals. Or, or whether they be, be churches that are just not sure how to cope, uh, we know that we have a shared inheritance and, and really just to pray for the unity of the church at this time so that we can um, take forward our, our, our mandate. So those are the, those are the two things I felt, Mas. Yeah. Awesome. Mateo, yay. How are you? Fine. Well, yeah, you. Thank you. Thing. Yeah, it was dark. There was no electricity. Oh, <laughs> my word. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Say hello to everybody. Hello, everyone. Hi. We have introduced you. We've introduced you. So, um, 
Matteo, you, you got the notes. Uh, we've, we're just at that stage of the prayer meeting where um, we're praying for South Africa. And so we're going to ask Moses to, to pray those points that Craig gave us. And Moses, you feel free to pray in your language. But everyone that's online, we're praying for just our light to shine at this time, for a spirit of unity, for the church to progress, um, as you can see on the screen. Take it away, Mosey. Okay. Moran Alamudi Marone, and that there are the boy, Galibit Alamoran and Chis, that eh? La Bella, Garake, Medima Gal, Killing, Nahinaba Halani, Morano Gal, Killing Rosova, Lena Guanyan, Medima, Killing Yakoviti, Morano Gal, Killing Razabore, Maya Halan, that they were now Saturday. When I just so crossed out Ralph Fats and Lena within that day, Okeguar Sierra Leva, Border Sia. Leana Lemat, a yalin ting, a lemayo halayana, a tavamu to see the teacher, I are a hope o' some demo. My symbol the Silagachin and that is Realebo or Rebe, my halamotin spag and sorrow. Menda de la rapella, rapella, bong bakareke, mudimaka lukiling, canaguena, mudimaka halayon that dinto, mudimaka di bona de satama, where cat abatavelo, yarone, relevana baha, mudimaka lukiling, that Araro sapo yaro na Jehova arana olasa tumele yaro na bana we na le mudimo o sapo ya di le motsetla ya rapela nda te hore le matsibwa le tsela ga jeno ma yo halang wena mutsu wa rona tswa lapela hore boloka bongwe le tumelo nya nete ya hore re tsebe hore ya lenteng mudimo ka haro rona o matla o fete ya teng la fatse ra le bonda de tlhonolo fatsa boloka bana ba ha mudimo ka lo kleng di ba kentso hle mudimo ka wena tswa ho ba le mudimo nda te o ipuela ka maphelo a rona ma lophelo a rona tswa ho ba a lokela hore jo ho ba a bontshe boholo ba ha a bontshe hore wena o dimo ya lenteng mudimo ya matla nda te ha o ke ke wa ha kwala melomo emba ka maphelo a rona ka melomo ya rona ka dipolelo tsa rona re tla dula re bolela Obana Marana just so crestic Marana, Lobana Gimopolos, Ralebo and Dade, Boloca, Greek Mudimo, Lenla, Palahai, Caraca, Telet and Pelamidimo, Calibit Solamaran or Nature so crusty. Amen. Amazing. Amen. Moses, you're a real prayer warrior, man. I love it when you yeah. pray. Hey? It's amazing. Ah. So, um, like I said before, um, these two guys, Moses and Mateo, and their families, it's just been such an amazing um, example to us here in South Africa and for me personally. So, I mean, I really just appreciate the effort. I know, Mateo, you've been trying since half past six to get onto this Zoom meeting. So well done for persevering, my friend. We appreciate you. Thank you, ma'am. So what we're going to do now is just pray for Zambia. And like I said, we were trying to get um, Bernard and Alice on as well. Uh, obviously, um, internet, all those things are a challenge. And then um, Bernard says, I must say hello to you guys, but he's just been down with malaria. Can you believe it? Mm. So, yeah, since last Saturday, he got um, bitten by a mosquito and got malaria. And so he's really, he's asked us to really pray for him. So maybe we can just remember him and his family. But Bernard and Alice lead a base church in Lusaka. And really, really, there's so many areas. Zambia is quite a big country that they, they travel to and work into. Here's three things um, from my time there in my chat with Bernard that he's asked us to pray for. I'm going to just name them, and then I'm going to ask Matteo if he can just lead us in prayer for those things. The first thing is just the solid teaching of the Word of God, and we know over a time like this how important the foundations are when the storms hit, and uh, it's so hard in the middle of the storm to go and change the foundations, but this is what we were doing at all the training times when we went up to Zambia. He, he said there's just so many guys preaching a whole lot of rubbish and stuff that's not true, false teachers. So we're going to pray for solid teaching, for the word of God, uh, you know, not confusing people and for Christ to be at the center. Secondly, just for God's provision. And that, that's not for me just financially. It's all the resources needed for God's people to do the work of the kingdom. Uh, whether that means... Uh, jobs, technology, people, leaders, uh, buildings, everything, all of that included in that is God's personal provision for, for us um, and for, for Bernard and his family and for the people of God. 
um, all over in the kingdom. And then also he asked us just to pray for new areas for the gospel to break into. As people are desperate, um, he's saying just an urgency to reach the unsaved. So, Mateo, why don't you take us away, pray, pray through those three, and we'll agree with you um, as we pray for the nation of Zambia. Amen. Uh, I'm going to use both languages, don't worry. You just switch, <laughs> my friend, I understand. Yeah, Father God. We're before... praying with you. Yeah. <laughs> Father God, we thank you for Zambia. We pray for Bernard and the family. We pray, Father God, that uh, you heal him, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Yes. We thank you for you, our God, and nothing is impossible with you, Lord God. Mighty Father, I want to pray for the solid teaching in that country. Mighty Father, we pray for the heart for the true gospel of Jesus Christ yes. for the church in Zambia. Mighty Father, we pray for Maranogonali killing sold out people that are willing, Lord God, to take your gospel. Like, uh, Paul was saying, I'm not ashamed of the gospel because it's the power of God that saves. Mighty Father, we pray that nobody should be uh, ashamed of the gospel but be bold to bring the true gospel of Jesus Christ in that country in the name of Jesus. Father God, we also pray for uh, the provision of God, mighty Father, not only for, for the church, but for everyone. We pray, Father yes. God, that uh, the, the, the economy will rise and the whole mm. country will come to a place where, Lord God Almighty Jesus, your provision is seen. Mighty Father, and the church will rise for your glory in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Okay. Mighty Father, we pray again that uh, more doors will be opened for the gospel in that mm. country. Mighty Father, for the gospel to be preached in full in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. For you are able to do it, Lord God Almighty Jesus. Even into, into the rural areas. Even in the place that I have not, not yet reached, Lord God, we pray, Father God, that you will open more doors for your kingdom to be preached, even in Zambia, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for you are able to do exceedingly, abundantly, far beyond all we can ask or imagine. Hallelujah. Father God, we pray you live in you, Lord God. We pray that we have your way in that wonderful uh, country in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you, Lord. Amen. 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 Hey, I miss you guys so much. Uh, so amazing to have you guys with us. Hey? We really, really appreciate that. Um, yeah, I, I think um, we want to pray for, for these guys. Um, but before we do that, I asked Moses and Mateo if there's any word of encouragement they have just for us and I say this again because we're on Facebook Live. I know there's quite a few guys that are signed on and we'll watch this maybe even later. But uh, we looked at that scripture in Isaiah that says God's house will be a house of prayer for all nations. It's not just that we're praying for all nations, but all nations are welcome to come and pray in God's house. And that's such a powerful thing as we, we, we're looking beyond our local churches and we're praying for nations. But I know that this gospel moves forward by one one person at a time submitting to the kingdom and one local church planted at a time and counting for Jesus in an area. That's how we're going to do this. And so most certainly these are guys I um, have partnered with and worked shoulder to shoulder in the nations, um, but they've also really put in a lot into my life. And so for me, just we want to we want to open ourselves to you guys and say, if there's any word of encouragement you have for us as a local church, if you can please share that with us. Um, maybe, Mosey, you can go first and then Mateo. Okay. Now, Moses is the preacher, so I don't know how much air time Mateo's got, but uh, we are ready. But I, <laughs> no, I, I, no, I'm going to be very short. Uh, uh, so <laughs> no, I just want to say uh, to the City Life Church that um, you, God, God is faithful. God is faithful. That's, that is my message to the, to the city life. That's, you should know that God is faithful. In Hebrews 10, 23, the word of God says, let us hold fast 
the confession of our hope without wavering, wavering. For he, he who promised is faithful. Mm. Uh, I like uh, the, the last words. For he who promised is faithful. So uh, I think even in this situation uh, we, where the devil, I think the devil wants us to uh, separate us from the love of God. But if we know that uh, he is faithful, then we are not going to lose our hope. We are not going to lose our hope. Then we are going to confess. Uh, we, are not, we are going to hold fast the confession of our hope without wavering. So uh, that's my way to the uh, city life. And then the, uh, Psalm 23, verse 4 says uh, very quickly, it says, uh, verse 4, even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. You are wrought in your staff, they comfort me. Even though we walk, even though we walk through the valley of the shadow of death, people are think, think uh, now it's the, the end times. It's like we are working in the valley. But even though we walk through the valley of the shadow of death, then there's this thing uh, that we should know. That awesome. Mosey, are you there still? Maybe the network. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he said the weather is quite rainy in, in Masuru. But fortunately, we got that word in time. Hey, Mateo. Mateo, where did you go? <laughs> I'm back. Oh, you're back. So, awesome, buddy. Been... Yes. Awesome. Um, what is your word of encouragement for us, bud? Yeah, I've been encouraged myself, and I think you'll be encouraged by what has encouraged me throughout the, this season. It's uh, Matthew chapter 16. We know uh, Jesus with his disciples, he did ask them what people say he is. And then they said, some are saying you're one of the prophets, some are saying you are Elijah, some are saying you are John. But he said, but yourself, who say, who do you say I am? And Peter said, uh, you, are the, you, you are the son of the living God. You are Christ. You are the Messiah. And then uh, Jesus said, this was not revealed to you by flesh and blood. And he said, and on this rock, I will build my church. Uh, what, has, what has been encouraging me throughout this time is the fact that Jesus said, he will build his church. And nothing... Uh, on any whatever challenge may be, it will not overcome its change. Mm. We are going through a time that is very difficult of pandemic, and we have got so many lockdowns. Today, the prime minister just told us that one more, one more week for us. And I want to say, no matter what is happening, we must not be shaken. Because the, the, the owner of the church has confirmed it, has uh, guaranteed it, that nothing can overcome his church. In other words, the church will go on and on and on and nothing will, will shake it. So we should be encouraged that we are part of something that is very solid and nothing will shake it. So Amen. we are part of Thank you so much. <laughs> Oh, thank you, guys. Welcome back, Moses. We got we got your message. Thank you, guys, so much. We so, um, really, really appreciate you guys just, just giving us your time. You're amazing. Thank you for what you're doing in Lesotho. I I um, go for a run here in the area every now and then, and there's one particular house that's got this massive dog. It's this big black dog with a lot of teeth and uh, a lot of uh, saliva and it's loud and it barks. And every time I run past it, it starts, when it hears my footsteps, it starts charging me from far away, but there's this big solid silver gate. 
and he comes up to the mm. gate and so you know he makes a big noise and, and it doesn't matter from how far back he charges at that gate he has to stop and I was thinking of of John chapter 10 where Jesus says that he is the gate and I was thinking of what you're saying mm. Mateo and I feel like mm. God just saying to you guys you know, we should not change direction because of all the barking. And no matter how far the devil charges us from how much teeth and uh, saliva, and barking and noise and everything. And so when I run past that dog now, I've got this thing. I just go, I don't even look at him. I just go, I put my hand <laughs> there and I say, stop. Because at that gate, he has to stop. I don't even have to change direction. I don't even have to, you know, change the route. And I just feel for you guys... Um, that God is saying he's that gate and nothing can get through that yeah. gate. Luke chapter 10 says he's given us authority over all the power of the enemy. What I felt him say is just at the end of that scripture says nothing will harm you. Nothing will harm you. And so we specifically just want to pray for you two guys. We know there's a big responsibility on your shoulders. Not only are you leading churches, but as our base churches that influence many churches in many regions. And so as we finish up, I'm going to ask Craigie to pray for your families, just for health, provision, grace, and strength, um, for your churches, just for God's protection, um, you know, just for growth and maturity during this time. And then just for you guys, personal strength to keep on going, to persevere, to endure, to be patient, and for the wisdom and the grace of God on your life. So, we want to pray, especially as a local church, the guys on Facebook, let's, let's reach out to these guys and their churches and their families, and let's just pray for them. Thank you, Craig. Yeah, let's, let's pray. Yeah, Jesus, we thank you that you are loving and you are strong. And as Matteo mm -hmm. was saying, Lord, what, what you have said, every word that comes out your mouth will be accomplished. And Lord, I just, I just pray, I just thank you that for, for these two men, for their families, for their churches, Thank you that you are that solid foundation. Um, but Lord, we, we pray, Lord, that, that, that you would go before them, Lord, at this time. They wouldn't just survive, but Lord, they would, they would, they would in you, they would thrive. They would find uh, new depths in, in their relationships with you, new sources of, of just wisdom, of, of provision, of authority, and of power, Lord God. Father, that that just, just the privilege of knowing that you have gone before them, that you are that gate that, that will protect them no matter what the enemy throws at them. Lord, we do pray for the churches too at this time. Lord, that you would be uh, the, the strong tower for everyone in, in, in their churches, that regardless of the, of the challenges, Lord, we know that, that even this week, um, uh, Moses had to bury a, a church member. Lord, I pray that you would also just strengthen and comfort the churches that, that that Lord, the, the, the love and unity would 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 rivers would flow deep, Lord God. Father, we thank you for the privilege of partnering um, uh, with with your body in other parts of the world, Lord God. Thank you that we can uh, that we are family, Lord God, and, and that and thank you for the work that you're doing in the Sutu. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. 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 So uh, now you've met these gentlemen that we have always talked about where's your family guys any of your family close by you can show us yeah. not yeah. okay yeah, not. <laughs> <laughs> but we pray for you guys and your family from city life uh, as a church we we just we we think of you guys we really do we praying for you thank you for what you're doing we 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 just thank God for these relationships and partnerships, and we can't wait to, to see you again. Hopefully, we can get some of our guys to come and visit you soon, and we, we just pray for God's protection and blessing over you guys. Thank you so much, eh? Okay. Oh, thank you, Dan. You wanna, thank you. So wave goodbye to all the City Life guys. Thank you so much for joining us on Facebook. Thanks. It's been an awesome time praying. Thank you, Craig, all the way from the country of Imploti. Let's keep these guys in prayer. God bless you. We see you Sunday online.